remember what we talked about when we were talking about an essay, right? And how a whole essay should kind of be the shape of an hourglass? The introduction needs to start out broadly, right? And then get more narrow. And then the conclusion is going to be broad again at the end, right? So you start out with those big topics that are outside of the context of the book that we're specifically talking about. Right? So, if you think about the introduction itself, it should be that whole inverted triangle, right? That's broad at the top, and then really, really focused and narrow by the time you get to your thesis statement. So you have to figure out how you're gonna start it without specifically talking about the book, right? This isn't about just a tale of two cities, it's about something bigger than that, right? What are you really talking about in your essay about a tale of two cities? If you're writing about Sydney Carton, then maybe you're talking about sacrifice, right? What are people willing for the people that they love? That's the bigger idea that you're dealing with. Why is right? not doing it? So think about what the idea is. If you're writing Didn't about... I have no idea what you're talking about. about. Why don't you see? talking about revenge. And again, what people are willing to do for what they want. What they're willing to sacrifice to get that other thing. What the... Dude, so you can start up, with a question. So start with that big statement, that broad statement that's beyond the text. Then you start to get a little bit more specific, right? That's why it's broad to narrow. Ronaldo, why aren't you doing anything? Ralph, I've had enough. But don't you that's see? That's it. Just go to the principal's office. But, but. Just go. You can't just up the class like this all the time. All right, let's just move on from that. Um, so what are we talking about? We're talking about introduction. After you grab the reader's attention and then you introduce the book, you wanna end by having your thesis statement. So that's how it gets really, really specific, right? You start it out broadly, and then your thesis statement is that most specific thing that tells us what you're going to prove. Here's something. Here's something. Here's something. Here's something. Here's something. Here's something. Come on in, Ralph. 